you see we say if not compare color here because we're saying if the color is not equal to then we stop this okay break we break the while loop so if not compare, and this will be scan pp pixel scan bm height and this instead of x here will be a z okay make sure you do that and then we see z plus plus here because we want to increment z by one now we do not want to increment by anything more than one pixel because we want maximum accuracy and this doesn't even take that much time so because the pause while well, that breaks z plus plus and then once it breaks out the while loop it means it at least found a color so that means we want to shoot so we go set cursor pause um, and this will be set cursor pause and this will be z See this this is going to be a bit of the tricky part, so I'm going to try and be careful with this. Uh, do that some spaces there. So we're going to go Z uh, Z minus Z, and this is the part that finds out exactly the center point, guys. Close divided by two, and this finds exactly our center point plus uh, scan uh, RC window left. Yeah, that seems fine to me. And then once again, we've got the Y plus 4 there, which aim, aims to the center of the head. And what this means is, as soon as you ever found a pixel, look for the last pixel and find the center, which means always aim for the bloody head, which should be good enough. And then we say point, point to get current pause, and that's fine. So that's one of the improvements there, which is something very good, I think, uh, that I, I found, uh, well, I came up with it myself, but um, I've got some ideas from other places um, after hours and hours of damn searching so that's fine and then uh, see. so there should be a mouse so yeah so I guess if we were to do this here do a quick scan you'll see how it stops there so uh, obviously I want to look for this pink here which I don't know what the color is for that um, it's gonna take a quick print screen go to paint on it oh there it is I've already got it get that it's 255 0 220 so let's do this quick test here 255 0 220 let's for, look for compare color 255 0 220 so we say equals equals 255 uh, equals equals 0 and equals equals 220 so we're looking for that exact pixel okay uh, this is only for testing purposes we're going to revert it back to blue in a second we do that and then uh, saying if it equals that um, hopefully that will work out so let's just try this out so if we search for it, it should hopefully uh, oh crap 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 it's looking for card strike. I haven't changed the title. Uh, come on man, it's so slow. Yeah, so because it's looking for card strike. So let me just change that counter. Yeah, I'm gonna copy this. This is why I told you guys to comment yours as well, because we can use this without having to write it every time. So let's do it. Uh, I'm just gonna do that a little bit and hopefully look you see what it did straight there look I'm trying to move the mouse it's not going anymore why because it finds the first point I'm pointing at the screen like you guys are supposed to read it It finds the first point here keeps going keeps going find the last point and then find the center there you go that's how you get to the head so that works exactly how we want it let's reverse this undo until we got how we want it to and there you go that's fine I'm happy with that now the next part that we're gonna do I believe is the yeah, it's a little something special. So this one here is excellent for when you're sniping, right? This will make sure that you're, this is why we use the mouse thingy here. This will make sure that you're um, able to get sniper shots, you know, dead on, hopefully. Um, obviously, it's not 100% of the time, but it's very good. You'll see on some of the clips that I showed on my other video, I was using this exact method. So current pause dot x is less than current mouse y x y I guess you can think of this as a uh, self-correcting uh, aiming which is quite cool uh, plus four and and current pause dot x is greater than minus four okay and what this does is it says only shoot okay only shoot if it's exactly where we want it to be okay um, this is why we can use shoot bot here for that um, so you guys feel free to try shoot bot I think it's, um, you know it's definitely worth trying and it works pretty well most of the time I just think it's slightly better with a person's uh, a person's point of view behind it so go that and just change all those things to to wise if you make a mistake there
Um, y is four minus four. That's fine. If what we're saying here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put these bad boys in because they help me out. So what we're saying is we're saying if you use twos here, I recommend twos. They're great for the minus y. Oops, sorry, I forgot one there. I recommend two if you're using snipers. Now, I, I don't really recommend, if you're using pistols or assault rifles, for example, I recommend using a number like, um, uh, sorry, uh, something like 20, 15, something like that. You don't actually have to use this. Um, I'm going to take mine off because um, it will kind of go against what I'm testing later on with you guys. I'm going to take that off as. No, I'll leave that on actually. So, what I'm saying here is. I'm saying only aim when it's exactly close to the head. You see, um, so it is. It is kind of how it works. Actually, I can I can leave it on just to let you guys see exactly what, how it behaves with a sniper, which is really neat. So instead of as soon as it sees him shoots, it waits until it's right on the head. Boom. So which means it's a lot more accurate. So that's it. And the final thing, which is very important for performance, and you guys that have the the better systems now I don't have that much of a good system um, I have a quad core but it's kind of getting old now but for those of you guys that want to get like really good if you got an i7 or something really powerful like that even if you just got a normal quad core or dual core you can get something out of this and this will um, if you time your actual scans you'll see that you get something like um, you get something like should get between 40 and 60 milliseconds per scan which is fine it's good and uh, it works out alright uh, but if you want to um, get less time than that, you need to use threads, okay? Or, or improve the system, I guess. You need to use threads. Now, this is what we're going to declare a final thing here on the scanned contents. And that is called aimbot thread. So, class aimbot thr. So even if you've got a kind of old computer, still do this, guys, because you can probably make use of at least one other thread. And you, for example, if you get 60 milliseconds, you bring it down to 40 milliseconds or so uh, scan. Okay, and that's the realistic number there. HWND app WND STD string game window. Um, and then you we create our constructor, which is based off this. And then we'll we receive is hwnd, app wnd, and we see rest of the string, game, oops, game, window. Okay, that seems more than fine to me. And we just say this equals that. Oops, typical fleet mistake. And then we do the same for this one. So we say game window, uh, so just do that. Okay, and that seems fine to me. Uh, I'm happy with that. Yep, I'm just gonna check the content. Well, it looks like the tutorial's gone for like over an hour and a half now. So if you've gone this far, congratulations, you've done pretty well. So we're nearly at the end, by the way, guys. We're just finishing some final improvements so you can get the most out of this. Um, you know, if you want to practice with it and do any kind of other stuff, up to you really. So if we go back to main, let's find main here. Oops, where is? Oh. No, not there. We need to go there. So we've created our thingy. So we'll go back to main. Um, and here's where we're going to do some fun fun stuff. So we've got the aimbot here. And we're going to create an aimbot thread. So we're going to go aimbot thread. Aim thread one. App WND. I prefer to do it this way. But you can always use the same object for every single one. It's just the way I prefer to do things. Uh, close that. Okay. So that's it. And then you just say begin thread and this creates our independent thread uh, so not only do you have the main code at work you've got some more code at work so I need to be very careful here don't to make a mistake it's a lot of tricky stuff um, Freud. Uh, yep that is fair enough and we close that again and then we choose what thing we want to run here aim uh, oops that should be a big B and THR comma zero comma uh, void again and and that's why we needed to create an object so we can send that object through we can't send multiple parameters into a thread so that's why we need to create a, uh, an object now this hasn't been declared because it's very easy to do so what I'm going to show you here all you have to do if you're on multiple threads and what this will do if you have um, multiple cores you don't really need to have multiple cores 
but in order to do so and get the most out of performance out of it you'll need them so just do that do two of them I've had up to three of them at work along with my main one and if you have three I can't have three fronts on I should probably be able to have two or so um, but plus the main one so that's three threads going at it you know at around 40 milliseconds each um, which it, they'll be a bit slower because the system's getting uh, pounded with um, good old resources being called so you've got three screenshots going on at once uh, or however many you can do um, which is excellent obviously you don't want to risk performance so if you see that it starts you start losing frames per second on the game you just take one frame uh, one thread away whatever but what happens here instead of taking a screenshot every 40 to 50 milliseconds you're ending up taking one every 30 milliseconds every 20 milliseconds which means your smooth your move movement uh, is much more smoother at least it should be when we test it so in bot thread uh, we look for um, this here so let's look for that and literally all this is is exactly the same as that is so it's exactly the same as aimbot um, um, so if you look for that uh, just scan this is a bit slow come on it's so slow so you just do ball so this one should be exactly the same as this one except a little bit different um, I guess that doesn't make it exactly the same so bot THR and then all we do is we, we receive an object which is an aimbot THR pointer okay aim THR aim THR one so that's just our object and that's all we do we then grab everything that's in here everything that we find useful and just grab that put that there and then we call a couple of things so now we're gonna have a couple of errors but that's fine so we just say scan oops what's this called it's called aim thread well, I don't, need, I don't need to give it a number, that's irrelevant, but you see here, it's your M thread, app window, you see that there? There you go, that's how you do it. And then you declare another one here, and then you put it there again, and uh, here again, and there again also. So that should do it, I believe. Yes, come on. You tell me that worked out. So I've given the errors. Oh, come on. What do you mean it's not a member? What are you talking about? App oh, it's capital A. Oh my god, what a fail. Come on, that was noobish, but whatever. So, oh, there's another one. I know, I know, I understand that. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, sh is, is that right? Uh, what's undeclared? Uh, I don't think it's undeclared. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I see. It's because it's below it. So, all I need to do is just call that on top, give it a function prototype. That's what we're looking for, and that should be all right. So if I press F6, uh, hopefully it should say build succeeded. There you go, excellent. Now, what we should have, I believe that's all the improvements I've got for you. What we should have is a very nice thing going. Obviously, try it with adding a couple of threads here if you've got a very good system, because I know some of you guys got incredible computers. Uh, try putting a couple more threads, and you should get the, mo the highest speed possible. It takes a lot of screenshots. The more screenshots it takes, or at least the faster it takes them, the more efficient and the more, the more powerful your aimbot is. So I'm just going to test this in the game and hopefully it will work out alright. Okay, so here we are back in the game. Make sure once again that is loaded and you've got your cam set up. So we'll create a server and your settings should be exactly the same as before. You should have them saved. Um, I'm just going to start a game going to the exact same team so I can check the uh, and see if the thing is working out alright. Um, so hopefully now we should have uh, mine may lag a little bit because I've got three things at work. I've got two threads in the main the main thread at work, um, but hopefully it won't lag. I don't think it will if it works out alright. But uh, okay, so come on, hurry up and um, yeah, we'll see in action. Hopefully uh, it should be nice, and uh, if it is, we are complete. Oops. Oh come on, press delete there. Sorry, I know this is already pretty much working because so I'm just going to choose a sniper here as well to see how it behaves, see how smooth it is falling. So here I am, I'm just going to follow this guy. Uh, I've got the thing on. Where is he gone? Where is he gone? Where is he gone? Where is he gone? Oh, there you go, team buddy. Oh, there you go. So I've got shooting on. So as you can see, look at that. I've, I may have a bit of frames lag, which I'm not too happy about. That is snapping a bit too much. As you can see here, how many frames am I getting per 
a second. I'm not appreciating this. 